The follow function is very useful because you can see where you are as your arrangement is playing. This is especially good for longer arrangements or when you're zoomed in. For example, right now I don't see where the music is being played from, but if I click on the follow, then I am literally following the music. If I click somewhere to edit, for example, I want to maybe get rid of this right here. If I just click on the button again, it's orange right now, I click on it again to continue the following at the play bed, playhead point. If I stop, it stays activated, for example. So this behavior is slightly different from previous versions of Live. It's uh, quite a bit better, I think, because it continues in its present state, even if you stop playback or you do editing. There's a nice keyboard shortcut to keep in mind. Command, Shift, and F. That turns follow on and off. And it'll reactivate it if you've done some editing. And you do this keyboard shortcut again to deactivate it. So very useful workflow features in Live 10.